Hello there, ATHS. This week, the host of chapter wants to spread awareness in women's health with a specific concentration in polycystic ovarian syndrome, as well as breast cancer in honor of October being Breast Cancer Awareness Month. In the following video, our members will share information on each disease, interesting facts about them, a real life story, and how you can help spread awareness. Hi everyone, my name is Riley, and I'm gonna introduce some facts and information on polycystic ovarian syndrome. In short, PCOS is a hormonal disorder which causes enlarged ovaries with small cysts, which are fluid-filled sacs on the outer edge of the ovary. The causes of polycystic ovarian syndrome aren't truly known, but may involve a combination of genetic and environmental factors. The syndrome is passed down genetically, and women with PCOS have a 50% chance of having a daughter with this syndrome. Some of the common consequences of PCOS include hormonal imbalances and infertility, meaning some women with PCOS are unable to conceive due to their irregular menstrual cycles. Furthermore, they are more likely to have endometrial cancer, a heart attack, weight gain, acne, and insulin resistance making them diabetic or pre-diabetic before the age of 40. It is important to note that PCOS is common and incurs in 1 in 10 women. We spread awareness about this disease because it remains an enigma in medical science, though it continues to affect females worldwide. You can donate to organizations like the PCOS Awareness Organization to spread awareness about the disorder and help those with it. Like many women in the United States that are not aware that they may be diagnosed with polycystic ovarian syndrome, I was one of them for my entire life. About three months ago, I was officially diagnosed with PCOS when I first started researching the symptoms because it's something that I've experienced since the moment I've hit puberty. Although it's only been a short journey for me so far and I know I have a lot to learn and to go through through my lifetime with PCOS, it is important to show you how common it is and like Riley said previously, it's in one in 10 women. And it's not common that these women know that they're suffering through it. So for this reason, we like to spread awareness. Make sure you do your self-examinations, check yourself out, read about what is so common about PCOS, and figure if you need help or if you need to discuss with a physician. Thank you. Hey, THS. My name is Fatima, and in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, I'm going to be telling you some facts about breast cancer. Breast cancer is a disease in which the tissues of the breast develop abnormally into cancer tissues, and this is a pretty widespread disease. About one in eight women will contract this disease sometime in their lifetime, and in 2020 alone, there were about 277,000 new cases of breast cancer in the U.S., and 42,000 of these people are expected to die of the disease. Some risk factors include genetics, so in other words, family history can explain if one is likely to contract it. Environmental factors that may increase one's ch chances include alcohol intake and smoking. If you have any breast pains or feel a lump in the area when conducting a self-examination, notify a physician. Seeing a doctor for yearly checkups is key to prevention, and when breast cancer is found in its localized stages, one has a 99% survival rate. You can donate to the National Breast Cancer Society in order to help promote screenings, education, and support for all of breast cancer.